what's up it's your girl diana i'm testing something out i'm i'm testing something out i'm testing out my mic i know one of my mic needs to be charged so guys let me tell you about today today is august 13th and so today i'm going to my natural hairstylist if you follow me on social media you know the hair has been damaged y'all but not by me by a shop I went to to get a silk press. So I'm going to a natural hair stylist today. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know what she's going to tell me about my hair. I don't know how much she's going to tell me to cut. I don't know what my hair is going to do. Um, but I'm very excited to go see her, guys. And I want to take y'all along. I'm going to try my best to vlog. I might just have the camera propped up somewhere. We don't know yet. We're going to see. Okay? So... I just wanted to give you guys that little intro. I'm about to go to the salon real quick and touch somebody's hair. Um, go to her and then I have more hair after. I have one more girl whose hair I gotta do after. I'll see you guys when I make it to my hair appointment. This is my first time ever coming to like a natural hairstylist. I wanted to do it even before. Just like, yeah. Yeah, because like my hair is growing. It's finally becoming like the length that I want. Is it okay if I record? Because I told my content people I'd record a little bit. My hair is finally like getting to where I want it to be. Where you're more comfortable with it being out and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, yes, I would love to. Because I even see on your um, thing you said how. Um, you help people start wearing their natural hair out more, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, so yeah. transitioning into that, what does that look like? Giving you more regimen, routine, understanding <laughs> what to do, what not to do. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, more times than not, people have been in the same ooh. predicament and mm -hmm. place and space that you no, are it's just in. The comment section, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I went through that process too. It's, it's, to it sucks. Stuff. It sucks. I see it a lot. And it's unfortunate that when, like, um, like how you're here today, mm -hmm. but like people will call me, they're like, what can you do? And I'm like, I can't reverse it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we can come up with a plan as to how we're going to deal like, with it yeah. moving forward. For some people, that looks like a big chop. For some people, it's more of a chance. No, girl. No, so let me tell you this. <laughs> I'm not telling you that it's a big chop. Okay, okay. So, heat damage versus damaged hair. It's kind of like two different things. Mm -hmm. You can be heat damaged, and honestly, you need to cut off your hair because it's that hard damage. Mm -hmm. But, um... Heat damage doesn't actually just translate into damaged hair. Heat damage just means that you've broken certain bonds in your hair so your curls don't curl up anymore, but you can still have strong growing hair. For some people, that's where you get like that heat train versus heat damage argument because that doesn't necessarily mean like all the integrity is gone from your hair, that the hair is just snapping off and there's no health to the hair at all. It just means that that particular bond is broken. You no longer have that elasticity for your curls to bounce back. So depending upon what you want for your hair now if you're a wash and go girly and you trying to show up with curls then for you that may be a big chop because you're not trying to go through this transition phase of you having different textures and different things like that for you i know you keep your hair up in wigs most of the time and when you're wearing your hair out you can have some flexibility with how that is what that is so um typically if you when i wash your hair i'll see better what your curls are doing you can do different types of styles whether it is twist outs rod sets and things like that as you're transitioning back into your natural curl pattern but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to cut your hair off if it's not in a state where it's just like completely damaged yeah i feel like me i want to become a wash and go girly okay like i feel like i went um natural like i think four years ago mm -hmm. um so before this happened my hair was like i get my trims mm -hmm. but i keep it i don't put heat on my hair mm -hmm. and 
I would keep it under the wig so my hair can grow. Yeah. Now that it's like giving like more collarbone vibes, yeah. I do want to become more natural. And okay, like more wearing, learn. embracing and learning how to wear your yeah. hair. Yeah. The thing we're going to do today is I'm going to um, start you off with a bond treatment. Bond treatment is going to address the bonds that were broken in, um, through your silk press. So those are um, treatments specifically that address the bonds. They're not protein treatments. They're not moisture treatments. They literally repair the bonds that make up the hair. Yeah, a lot of people um, were Olcox works on the disulfide bonds. Yeah. So K18 is it's a two-step treatment. I'm gonna start off by spraying your hair with the molecular repair system first. I have like it. the weirdest hair. It's like when you touch it, I just it's like the tingling. It? That's <laughs> you why feel I feel all the way through. Yeah, yeah. That's why I keep doing the sugar. <laughs> it's all good. And it's a little chillier here. So I'm gonna start off with that and then I'm gonna um, bring you back to the sink and we're gonna do the second part of the treatment. From what you down, then I'll be able to say, all right. Your hair is needing more protein or you're needing more this and we'll definitely come up with a plan as to how it is that we're going to deal with your hair so this is the first step of k18 this is the molecular repair mist so i'm just gonna drench your hair in this and it's gonna sit for four minutes before we go back Rinse with cold water, but not wash with cold water. Want to use warm water as hot as it feels comfortable to you. You don't want to scald this out. But like thinking about like coconut oil, for example. Let's say you have coconut oil on your hair. Mm -hmm. You know, coconut oil in um, every temperature is solid. But when you warm it up, then it's liquid. If you're washing your hair with cold water and you have oils and products on your hair, mm -hmm. the cold water is going to keep it bound to your hair. Mm -hmm. Versus if you're using warm water, it allows it to free up. The warm water is also going to open the cuticles of your hair, um, allowing you to get one more water into your hair and two, wash away the debris and the dirt more effectively. With cold water, especially if you have compromised cuticles, the cold water will help to close down those cuticles and seal all that water and moisture in that you've put in during your shampoo process. This is just going to pull up any product buildup that's on your hair. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a hard water treatment because our water is pretty hard around here. And the minerals can build up on your hair and affect how hydrated your hair is, how dull your hair looks, it can affect your curls, how much spring you have in your curls, all those different types of things. You want to in between, especially with going back into having options mm -hmm. and knowing that having healthy hair is an option and being able to wear your hair out is an option. Mm -hmm. You want to be hydrating your hair on a more regular basis. Okay. And yes, you can be putting oil on your scalp. And that's the first thing I'm gonna tell you, oil doesn't hydrate your hair. We're, going, we're really gonna go into a, a, a education lesson today, but okay. oil doesn't hydrate your hair. Oil provides shine, oil provides lubrication, but it does not hydrate. When you're dehydrated at that point, you normally need like an IV bag or something like yeah. that. And now you're putting your hair in a state of chronic dehydration by only shampooing once every three months. Mm -hmm. To the point that every single time you do shampoo your hair, yeah, you're putting some moisture in and you probably do a treatment. I hope you're doing a treatment every time you shampoo. You're going to have to be doing a treatment because your hair is at the state of chronic dehydration. Okay. From what I know, mm -hmm. right? I keep it like under wigs because I'm told not do not touch your Less head. Less manipulation. Because that's how it'll go better if you don't touch it. And also, for a while, I feel like my hair grows better mm -hmm. when I don't touch it or like keep it in its like dirt. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's real. So fun. it's not it's not keeping it in its dirt. It's a lower manipulation because a lot of times we tend to over manipulate our hair. So your hair right now, I can look at your hair, your hair is extremely fine. Like the individual strands, mm -hmm. 
I could take one strand and it's damn near invisible on my hand. Like, let me show this to the camera. I'm pretty sure they can't even see what mm -hmm. one strand looks like. It's thinner than even like a piece of thread. So your hair is very prone to breakage, especially if it is that you are like, let's talk about in the terms of the natural girls, right? Who mm -hmm. <laughs> they're talking about like twisting up their hair every night and doing all of this and doing all of that. Mm -hmm. That's way too much manipulation and your hair will snap and break, right? Mm -hmm. But dirty hair, does not grow hair. Honestly, the cleaner your scalp is, the better it is for your hair growth. Now I'm gonna kinda make you think about something that you don't wanna think about. But when we're talking about just hygiene, from a hygiene perspective, you want to. Oh, so you mean like every three weeks shampoo? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Shampooing your hair more often, that way your hair is never getting to the place of chronic dehydration. Cause that could honestly be what happened with your silk press. I don't know what the silk press process was, but even if they did all the things with heat protection and all, everything like that, if your hair was chronically dehydrated, it didn't have the strength um, necessary to even bounce back from a press, to, to withstand the press. Right now I'm going in with, um, the inner sense scalp scrub. This is like how you would put like a sugar scrub on your body, but it's made for your scalp. So it's just gonna exfoliate, open up your scalp, remove any debris. Water and oil don't mix. So if you spray, if your hair has already got oil on it and you go ahead and spray it with water, that water is never going inside the hair because the hair is already coated with oil. Mm. So the only way you're gonna be able to get that water back in the hair is to shampoo it because the shampoo has the detergents that will get that oil off for you now to be able to put water back into your hair. I don't know if like you've ever heard this, but like growing up, my mom would always would, would always tell me like, oh, your hair's not growing if you wash it too much. I mean, like, it's the it's it's kind of like a miseducation, I would say, of all of us as black folk, honestly. But that is in fact a myth that dirty hair grows better. This one sit for five minutes. of them do have DHT blockers, which keep your hair in the growth phase, because there's three phases in hair growth. You have a phase where your hair is actually growing, a phase where your hair is shedding, and a phase where your strands are, um, your follicles are dormant. So most hair growth things are keeping you in that in that growth phase longer and, st and stopping that shed phase from happening, but not actually like accelerating growth. Um, when I put the treatment on your hair, I normally um, can smell it. Like it's a chemical reaction that happens. Mm -hmm. So like if it smells like metallic, like coins, it's typically the um, the treatment interacting with the, um, the minerals built up on your hair. 
but I'm not smelling that, so I'm like, you don't have a hard water problem that we need to combat, so I can just rinse it on out. Yeah, especially around your nape too, around in the front and around the back. And that would make sense based off of you saying like you smelt it in the conditioner, because most times when people are buying conditioner, they do like this. And then I'm seeing it, the heat, like your damage is in the roots, which is weird. So like like menstruation, so I'm like I'm wondering if like they're putting the conditioner and then they're going like this, and then that's why it's striped like that. Because of my hair, yeah, it's yeah. So like right here, um, mid, mid shaft with the damage, which really yeah. sucks for your grow out. Cause that means even once you get tired, done with this, you're still gonna have this. So it's gonna be about a year before this reaches here. And yeah, that's like consistent throughout the hair where it's straight in that lower mid shaft. But then when we get around the edges, it's like fully straight. Can you see that? Yeah. So style wise for you, when you're wearing your hair out, you're gonna have to wear um, what I consider manipulated curls. So twist outs, braid outs, rod sets versus wash and goes. Cause wash and goes require your hair to have more curl. But honestly, it's okay if I have to do like twist outs right now. Mm -hmm. um, At least you have an option. Yeah, I just, I just would love like, you know, by the end of 2025 to, you know. Oh, definitely if, you, if the goal is 2025, by the end of 2025, you can be back to that place. It would require just you gradually trimming and stuff like that. Cause that straight part that's here, by the end of 2025 should be here, right? And we could work with a wash and go that's curly here and limp on the ends by just manipulating the ends. But when it's right here in the middle and stuff, and most of all of this is like that, there's nothing you could do for a wash and go with that. Okay. So basically I'm trying to make sure I remember and got it right. Mm -hmm. Every three weeks, shampoo, conditioner, mm -hmm. and then I can, I don't have to take my braids out, but make sure my hair is fully dry and then I can apply some oil to my hair. Mm -hmm. um, condi uh, regular conditioner is more surface while deep conditioner goes more deeper into the structure the of the hair. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do deep conditioner. Is that Okay. If I, do I wouldn't do deep conditioner every three. I wouldn't do deep conditioner with your braids in because they're thicker. They're hard okay. to rinse out. So okay. I would definitely do rinse out conditioner when you're do when you're keeping your braids in. But um, what you call it? Rinse out conditioner with your braids in and masks whenever you take your braids out. Okay. I ain't talking about just building a man just cause we we ain't talking about that. But just being like, you know, there's this one, um, this one funny video that I saw online that I always think about. And it was like um, a post office guy, mailman, trying to talk to this girl. And she was like, oh, you cute or whatever <laughs> with your little job, your little government job. I'm sorry. I don't date people with jobs. I only date scammers. <laughs> I'm scamming. You cute or whatever with your little government job. But that's a, a lot of, like, especially when I was down in Miami, that's a, a lot of people was like, oh, you cute or whatever, what's your little benefits? I don't want that. <laughs> your little your little stable life, I don't want mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like, but yes, I want me a man with a little bit of benefits. 
You got a job. You can take care of yourself. You have values that align with me. You love God. Mm -hmm. You have ambition. We could come together and create something beautiful. Create a very yeah. beautiful life. Because I've had boyfriends where they had everything. They had the personality. They had a job. They were handsome. Mm -hmm. Cool. But it's like, if you don't have vision or ambition or you're you're in, you have a mindset where you're just okay with you're comfortable with just yeah that is my it. that's I gotta go I that's gotta go it. so where you see yourself in the next five years I don't know I, mm -mm, I gotta go that's it we can't we because I had I had this boyfriend oh oh <laughs> I thought oh I thought going into it, I thought oh I could see myself just staying here mm -hmm. but I realized like yes you have the personality the job and all this but what's but, next yeah. He didn't know, and the thing about it is we had talks about it, like, I'm the type of girl where it's like, if you have a goal or if you don't like where your life is, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about it, like, what do you like um, to do? How can you be creative to provide another income for yourself? And we would have these conversations and I would see no action behind it. Like, I would try to, you know, I'm going to get you a piggy bank so you can save, or like, even, because I was 19 at the time, I didn't yeah. have nothing big to, like, offer. No, but still, but that, that but, in itself is something major, just even have us, us having a conversation and sitting yeah. down and planning out what our future is about to look like. And How we going to get there. Nothing. Every time no I would action behind no it. action. And I was just like, you know what? I don't think this is Lack of ambition is my, my I feel like business appointment is very important as someone who not only wants to like, you know, learn about her hair, but to also help other young girls. Cause I do have young girls who will look at me like, no, let's ah! I love when the young babies come to me and they're like, Oh, you're so free, or like I inspired the young can girl. girl you. They're oh like me. <laughs> so it's like and plus I know my little sister is watching. Uh-huh. And they're getting more into like knowing their skincare, their hair and stuff. So it's like, I just wanted like this appointment. It was very important for me to like record it because I want to educate and help like, so people can see my process and find my hair back together. Yeah. I understand that, but I couldn't find anyone though. So. I'm just so glad I'm not bald headed. <laughs> But um, yeah, like in elementary middle school, like I used to be one of those girls with like this, <laughs> the little, the little stingy one, <laughs> like so bad. braid my own hair down mm -hmm. but i would like to see because i'm not gonna put a wig on until probably tomorrow afternoon mm -hmm. or thursday um so i would like to see what any style whatever you want to do if you're here without having to wash it out and then we'll do sticky or anything like that so we could do that Oh my gosh, I'm just glad I'm not bothered. <laughs> 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 I 
reaching out for me. Ooh, why, why you love me too? I'm nothing like you. Opposite of holiness was what I was born to you. Till I saw that, couldn't see why. Held my head high, could you see I? I had to just baby. I'm the one so could you clean me And now I'm better, I'm better. No longer what I used to be better. better. It's better than you It's making me better. I'm turning a new thing, you're making me stronger, yeah, yeah. Cause you see my life for you, I'm good, yeah. Cause you see my life for you, I'm good, yeah. I'm good, 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 and he never did, he remains the same every single day. Yesterday, today, I let him hold my hand and I follow all his plans. Sometimes I don't understand, but to trust is what I can do. Cause he made me new and he gave me two things I used to do. It has not that one. The one on my phone, mm -hmm. it cracked. I'm crying. Oh no. You think it was like a hair or something on the screen and you realize it's No, like it was, you know, when I was taking pictures, it's been doing that, but I was. All the blur. I was like, what's up with the... I thought it was just the light. Mm -hmm. But no. It's my whole camera. So I'm going to see if I can go first thing in the morning. Because I told you I'm going out of town this weekend. Oh, so you need that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need this. He's making me better. It's ridiculous. I don't need this for today. Shake it. They can say a lot of things, but they can't say you bald headed. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think we had a twist out. So yeah, this is twisting rods. Do it a little shy spray. We're done. I feel like I gotta switch up the earrings. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's, not <laughs> it's just feeling like it's not ready. It's not there yet. Yeah, but it'll grow on me. Thank you. Song. You're so welcome. Jazz, you can go check her out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once you got your stuff together, you can just go to the back. Show her. Don't hate. Well, what, what can I hit you for now? <laughs> I'm trying to remember your name. Chevy. Chevy. See, I knew I knew it what it was because I seen your site and I met you. My brain just had to be better. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hey right, y'all, I'm gonna get out y'all. Hey guys, it's your girl, OMG. As y'all can see, I literally just came from getting my hair done by a natural hairstylist in my area. I am so glad I went to her. You guys, if you have not 
tried a natural hairstylist yet, make sure you go. Because I feel like I learned so much, not only about my hair, but how to actually take care of our natural hair. And it was so important for me to try to vlog the whole thing because I wanted to put the girls on. You feel me? We're going to learn this together. Um, I'll go more into details about my hair. As you guys can, if you watch throughout the whole video, you'll hear what she says about my hair. Um, the damage that is done is not like OMG big chop damage. But it's a little weird how it is because different areas in my hair is straight while other areas would look like it's going to be raining hard. While other areas are okay and reverting back. Um, and it was probably due to my hair not being properly hydrated and me not knowing it because I literally, I told her I wash my hair every three months. She's like, that's not how you do it. You need to wash, you need to hydrate your hair by washing it at least every three weeks. Um, you guys can't even see me but yes guys so i'm gonna talk to you guys more thank you so much um for coming to my blog love you guys Mwah.